Search across all columns is a really nice new feature within Dynamics Nav 2017 web client. If I just move to the sales orders list page, and I've got a bit more space, perhaps change this to the list view, tidy away the fact box pane on the right hand side, and double click to minimize the ribbon. Okay, now I've got space to work. So I'll click the magnifying glass, just jump into the search, that will expand the search box. The way this feature works, it means that I can enter text to be searched for without specifying what column that I think it should find it in. The system will then display all records that feature that text in any of the visible columns on this list page. So search does not need telling what field I wish it to search on. So if I start by typing and I put 1000 initially, the system is now going away and finding any records where in the visible columns it finds 1000. Now I was looking for customer 10,000, so it correctly finds me the records, the sales orders for customer 10,000, but it also does find me customer 61,000, fairway sound. So if I continue and make it the full 10,000, it's now filtered down to all the records where it finds 10,000, which is just the sell to customer I was actually looking for. So it provides a really quick filter to help me get the information I want quickly and easily. I can hit the cross to clear my search term and therefore clear the filter. Now technically the search it's doing, it's actually a case insensitive wildcard filter. What that means in English is it doesn't care if it's capital letters or not, and it will also look for where my search characters appear within something. So for example, if I just typed in ED, I'm getting all the records here that are released because it ends in ED, but I've also got some records here that the ED comes from the location code, red. So this could be quite useful sometimes if I've had maybe a, a telephone message that relates to a customer and I've got a sort of garbled message and I've got what, just one or two parts to search from to try and work out which customer it relates to. So this case insensitivity is shown. If I, for example, I want to find all the sales orders that are leaving via the, the yellow warehouse, the yellow location, I could type in yellow and I would filter those down quickly and easily. The same thing happens by typing in ELL because it's finding the letters ELL within the full word yellow. What it's actually doing is the equivalent to me typing this. So case insensitive, any character, then ELL, then any character. But because it's a quick filter, I don't actually need to type in those symbols. In the appendices of the document that accompanies this course, I go through a wide variety of filters that you can use for more complex filtering. If I swap to the customers list page, just pop it into list view, minimize the fact box, and click into the search. Here, using my idea of the slightly garbled phone message, it could be a case of I've got part of the name written down for someone. Maybe I've got a phone call from someone called Pat. And it helps me find right it's Patricia, perhaps, who placed that phone call through to me. So it can be useful for discovering within my data. As you may have spotted, it actually refines the search as I type. And this is a really useful part of the functionality. If I just swap to the items list page, Here this filter as you type could be quite useful. For example, if I want to find all the products that are chairs, I can just start typing the word chair. And we begin to get a more focused list, although currently it includes chains and chain assemblies rather than just the chairs I was looking for. But as I continue to type, it filters it down further to a much more focused set of results. This means I've got quick information at my fingertips. Similarly, I might want to combine two search terms. This can be done with a pipe to give me an either or search. So for example, if I wanted to find two specific chairs, I could type part of the name of one, the London swivel chair, but add the pipe and add in PAR for Paris, and it appears to not worked. And what's happened is I've forgotten to add in my wildcard. So all I need to do is add a star. So it's LON then anything and PAR then anything 
and it finds the London and Paris chairs. Again, it doesn't matter that it doesn't start with a capital letter because by default this search box here is case insensitive. It does matter that I include the star when I'm trying to combine search terms though. Again, the document that accompanies this course that's available free if you pop onto a website and download it does give you lots of information on particular search terms that you might find useful to use.